Tata Jonas. Pretty incredible, unbelievable fight. Try and sum that up for us. Still champion in an absolute barn burner. We always knew it was going to be, but unfortunately for you, I'm going to ignore this question. And just, I just want to say, you know, me and Ben know how hard it is in uh, this whole year's been, and how financially strained families are in this community. Us as the boxers are very grateful for every single person in this stadium tonight who spent their hard-earned money to be here, support, motivate and drive. I'd like to say I'm young, but all the young ones in the tonight, we've had a showcase of young talent, experienced talent, coaches, boxers, and everyone in every single person on this card tonight appreciates every single person who spent their hard earned cash. So I'd like to thank us all. Also, I haven't finished. It takes two to tango. And I know this scale here, Michaela Meyer, is going to be absolutely devastated with, the, with, with that result because I've been there and she'll, you know, it feels like the world is over. She is in my top two people at fourth. She's very, very skilled operator. Her time will come again. She beats a lot of the champions that are already here. So please, please, to use that as motivation to go on and get the title that you deserve and become a two-way champion. Is there an argument that she brought the best out of you and the best had to come out? 100%. I said it from the start. That little bit of fear factor. It brings out the best of me. I need opponents like her to tango. With no disrespect to the likes of Candy Wire. But I kind of knew that I was going to be dominating. I kind of knew that I was supposed to win. We've seen how, how close the odds were because nobody knew. And, and lastly, before I finish this speech, I'd like to thank Ben. Because without him, like, we never knew where my career was going. And it took a big leap of faith for me to come and join Boxer. At that time, he made me promises that he's never, ever let up on. He's stood by me, he's driven me, he's invested in me, he's made me the fighter that I am, and he's provided me with the opportunities that I am. And now I'm standing here as one of Liverpool's most successful boxers. And, you know, with the respect of the whole community, I've got more up um, in here tonight with, you know, 7,000 people in the crowd. So a big massive thank you to Ben, and as always, the man who never gets the credit he deserves, Joe Gallagher, you know, Marcus Morrison, Macaulay McGowan, all my training partners, all my... You know how hard it is to pull people in at the end of the year for sparring? I've had Cindy and Gamba, I've had Paige Murney, Bree Wright, they brought, they brought the, the best that we ever think we could, Michaela could provide. And for, thank you to you for coming in at the end of the year when you don't have to, giving up your time, your Christmas, to come and train with me and help me be stay a world champion. I mean, it, no, no, take a breath, take a breath. Let me just ask, on the fight itself, raise a tie on the cards. I'm sure Michaela's going to have her say it and, and will probably feel hard done by, but what got you over the line? What made the difference in there? I think a good start, um, harder, cleaner shot, um, and I think, you know, towards the end, she a little bit outworked me, I gave her a couple of the middle rounds, but I came on strong at the end. I wouldn't dare ask about your age, but I will ask about your future. What's next? I mean, no one would complain if we saw that again. Lauren Price is at ringside, you know, whatever you tell me here, I'm going to believe you because yeah. I never doubt you again. Listen. Ben keeps providing me with the opportunities. We sit there, me, Ben, Joe, we look at all the opportunities that are available and I take that, the, the ones that are best for me, you know. Unfortunately, I can't be around forever. This is probably my last year in boxing and we want to make it the best chapter of the book. Tasha, thanks for talking to us. Michaela, I know this isn't, this isn't going to be easy, so thank you for staying around and talking to us. Obviously, bitterly disappointed. Did you feel that you had done enough to, to walk away as a... Uh, two weight world champion tonight. Uh, yeah, I think you could see at the end. I, I thought I did enough to win. Um, I would have given her the first round or two, but after that, I feel like I, I out punched her and landed the cleaner shots. Um, at the end of the day, I think that that fight is worth seeing again. Um, like she said, one of the toughest fights she had. I think the fans really enjoyed it. So thank you to everyone who showed out tonight. Um, I didn't have a rematch clause on my side, but I'm hoping we can get this fight done again uh, for the fans if they want it. Yeah, if it, if it can't be next, do you think that you proved that you're... I mean, Tasha Jones just labeled you as the top two fighters that she's ever shared a ring with. Probably not any consolation at the moment, but you believe that you belong at this level and the title is just 
you know, within touching distance. You've been here twice in world title fights in the UK, and both times you probably feel like you could have walked away as the winner. Uh, yeah, it's definitely disappointing. Um, but, you know, what am I going to do? I just hope that, uh, you know, Tasha will be the, the stand-up champ that she is and give me another shot at the belt. I feel like I deserve it. And, again, I think the fans want to see it. I only believe that rematches should happen if they're warranted. We had a rematch clause on her side, not on my side, but this is a warranted rematch. I feel like I deserve another shot, and I want to go again. Probably won't thank me for saying this, but um, Tasha doesn't score the fight. Outside of that, do you agree that you brought the best out of each other? I mean, it's an incredible fight to watch. Everybody probably laughed when Al Mitchell said we're going to have Hagler Hearns, but we nearly got it. I knew from the first 10 seconds of that fight that it was going to be a battle. It was going to be non-stop punches. So um, halfway through, I was like, this is fight of the year for sure. So again, would love to do it again. Yeah, commiserations, and I'm sorry it didn't go your way, but thank you for waiting around and talking to us.